Hello everyone, this is Alfred Monty here. Today, where are we right now? We were just at the caves in the Blighted Village a little bit ago. Uh, well, I did a little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of organizing of everyone's inventories, and I spotted this little hidden cache here. I wanted to explore that before we went into the caves, because I do see... A few mission markers as well. I do see that uh, we need to return to Damon and we need to talk to Kaga. So I want to do all that and I want to see what's up with this hidden cache. And I do see Halsey and the Goblin camp in the distance. So we're going to see what's up with this cache before we do anything else. So. I have reason to believe that this path is where we need to go in order to clear off that waypoint. So we're going to see if that is the case. Maybe I need more pockets. And this is also going to be the first episode where I do a little bit heavier editing. I don't know if this part is going to necessarily make it into the video, but... Just to inform you guys, I am going to be very excited in working more with this Baldur's Gate content. Okay. Up in here. Let's see, if that's the nautiloid there, it just looks like a campsite. Let's go loot! What the heck? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. What do you mean? Of course. What I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... Refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly... Too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Where am I going? There. Middle of somewhere. I don't like this at all. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. I don't think I want to. I'm getting tired of your games. Fair enough. Oh. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Fuck. A cambion. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Why would you help me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. 
And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. You're mad if I think I'll make a deal with a devil. And what is madness? But everyone approves that reality. Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest strength is a weakness. Hmm. I'll have the last laugh in the end. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? Nothing I've noticed. One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. I'll be waiting. Is that it? That's curious. Oh. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Ooh, gold coin. Oh, it's crit. Nice. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Oh, let's see here. Let's try to quickly snatch that bag. Oh, no. I'm gonna get bit. I'm gonna get bit. Pincers pierce your flesh. Their chitters become giggles. The intruder is punished. What's on there? Yeah, stare in, you give it a try. At the back of the crevice lies a bag, enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. A rogue sleight of hand. Oh, that's a lot. Just gonna get guidance, 10 to 13. I literally just need a five minimum. Nice. The spiders scatter. And Thank you, Asterion. The bag. Something clinks among the coins. Nice. I've got a long I gotta drink real quick. How delicious. In here. The coins and spider egg sack. I think we're just gonna leave it there for now. Tread carefully. And then okay, the necklace. We'll give it to Asterion. I think he earned it. Let's see. 
Okay, we are back in the Druid's Cave. Let's speak quiet. with Kalka. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Huh. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The Viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Is that a good idea? This rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Okay. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. You leave them to die on the road? I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for her hire. I want you to provide my skill services to the tingling no doubt. Several is his call. Offer to the guy at the outlanders to outer the grove. I'm, I'm sure they sure. won't do too well. They're to be gone hmm. before for the final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. Then it seems best I speak to Zebra. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. You don't tell me what to do. Devil child, one who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Oh my goodness, okay. I will go speak with Zevlor. Hi, Sevlor. And then hi, Tilsus. Well, let's talk to Tilsus first. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. You very well might. Hey, Sevlor. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It's not a fair choice. Can you delay the you ritual? Saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Why don't you get rid of her? Thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. I'm not a murderer for hire. That doesn't sit well with me either. But to get these people to safety, there's nothing I won't do. You'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway you, 
There's nothing more to discuss. No, sir. Hmm. But if there's a clear path, so we can either they'll find it. assassinate Kaga, which I don't agree with, or we can force the tieflings out of the grove. But I guess there's the third option of finding Halson. But we have the blacksmith we have to talk to as well for Carlag. Here. Let's give him a quick talking to. Wait for Carlag to get over here. Do not steal. How fast the search? I found the infernal iron you mentioned. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. Hmm. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Perhaps she's more comfortable. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now. But I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me hmm. again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. What? Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Yeah, we can do that. I miss my forge. Wait, cry like conversation. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Hmm. Let's find some evil for you to smack then. Bring it on. So, did she get new abilities? Searing Smite seems busted. 8 to 31 damage, okay. I don't know if she always had that, but... That seems pretty good to me. Alright. So now... I don't think I want to speak with Zevlor at this point. Let's go back to the Blighted Village. Because... I have... On my way. Some ogres I'd like to talk to. What's the round up? You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend? Might have to take that nose. Dude. As the symbol glows... Power courses through you. I think I'd rather just attack Authority. him, honestly. This feels good. You talk to me all the way from there? On the way. So you sneak attack. Is assassin, and then Will that work. I don't know if that'll work, but should no. That's seven damage. Time to press ahead.
Good fights. Good fights. At least things have stayed interesting. Wish it would auto path properly, but this is fine. Still on my feet. Breathe deep and move. Now this is my happy place. Tactical. That's Double miss. It. Pick your spear. Huh. Let's move. Send that to Astaria. Send that to Shadowheart. Let's see. I'll send that to Shadowheart as well. What else I wanted to do? Oh yeah, so. To do. If you're a little closer. Still breathing. Despite yeah. everything. And some housekeeping. <sighs> Can't give up now. What's hiding here? Okay. Got more quick looting. Sure. Moving in. Talk to these boys. <laughs> Gentlemen, Lump the enlightened. Tide yourselves. This quarrel sells our face. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Very eloquent. Stranger. Be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. You're quite eloquent for an ogre. Am I not astonishing? Yeah. A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I... I'm a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Let's see. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute chosen disciples. Oh, it's weird to see Asterion's face with that dice roll. Success. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavory. Really? Food? No, not food. food. Not food. Friend. <laughs> I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. Whoa. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin oh. of gold. We check brand. Good deal. Sounds Not like a fantastic deal. Aww. 
Forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. <laughs> Make me an offer. Tempt me. I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen. You'll have your fill. Thousand gold after you fight for me? Eh, we'll do the persuasion. I think it's a little cooler. 20? Sis. 20 on the dot. Wow. A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. I don't like that nickname. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Cool. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. <laughs> Uh, I think we will get close when you are ready. Sound the horn. Um, let me check. Mom's horn. That seems sick. Okay. What do you got? Ooh, we thieves tools. Locket goes to Shadowheart. Harlag, take the gold. Hey! See here. I'll save, what the heck? A bunch of enemies here. getting prepared because these are definitely enemies and what does infested mean infested prong tie spiders that deal damage to it oh you can even see it on them Shadow heart about there. I think we'll start off with Stereon. Color of monsters. How you doing? That's uh, five to ten. Wait, hold, do you have spell slots? My favorite. Can I bless? I think I want to bless. That gets out of sight. High ground, happy, blessed, weapon, and chance. Is 
that do? Burn in. Eh, let's just go for it. Oh, they're surprised. That's that is great. I crit you. Immune simple toxin. Don't know why that came up, but that is fine. I like just getting there. No movement. Are you not throwing? Are you not throwing? That comes easy these days. Ignis. What should I do? Just let me throw. Got it. Poison. There's a lot more enemies. Where do I go from here? <laughs> Just try it. Oh. Birds did attack upon death. Ugh. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Ignis! That's fine. Ignis! Okay. Nice. You have like range? No webs. Like this. My faith will protect me. Uh, 
There's a bunch of fire somewhere. We're just gonna do our thing here. We're dashing. Save it. That case. The group hide key again. Alright. Time to skulk about. Spider. Should mind my step. Right there. That's a level 5 spider. Let's get in and out. We are not ready for that right now because car lag. So what we're gonna do is get everyone as prepped as we can. My faith protects me. Keeping my head down. Ready for some good news. I think we'll try this. It's gonna be a little difficult, but I think right here. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. I think we can get this spider with the element of surprise if they start moving. Cause weak to fire to radiant damage. Don't be shy. I'm nothing. Want another? Do you like this? Think. Four twenty four.
So whatever happens, by bar, I hope you're okay. Ooh, a bunch of tiny spiders. Makes a lot of sense here. Let's kill. I'm heating up. The dance macabre. Mm. Gonna jump over the toxin. Normal action sneak. Let's find some. Prey. Yeah. One of them. Pretty bad. I'm ready. And you fly? Let's go here for um, And no spell slots. In the train there. Oh. Andy, thirty three damage. Oh. Last rate's gonna be good. I'm going to enjoy this. Miss. There's blood in the air. Come on then. Oh. Hmm. Should have done that first, but that's fine. Spiders probably just gonna start teleporting all over the place. Oh, that's a lot of biting. Damn. Shall we cut 
and run. They won't know what bit them. Step quick. Put them up. No time for that. Half is interrupted, really. Start swinging. Fine. Tell if it's lagging or not. Miss? Double miss? Might be able to do this. Go ahead. Knees high. Let's turn someone inside out. Asterion! Poisonous robes. Let's not have to shadow heart and I'll send that to the Bivar. No choice but to keep going. Um Swing. Darn. Um start swinging stuff. I don't need to worry about her anymore. Are you? What now? Hey. Fuck yes.
Let's just show you. Okay. Up here. Oh, okay. That was not an easy fight, Boy, but you know what? What now? I think all things considered, though, went pretty well. Don't be shy. Ooh. Phew. This is a bad idea. Can we get further now? Cartus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator, come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. <sighs> You've got all wrong, Will. Karlak's not about to hurt anyone. Well. Not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. You're not helping. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm... A great fire tadpole. roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the blood war. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No. Well... I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Be practical. She's infected, same as us. We need allies, not Will enemies. catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! You saw her thoughts. She poses no threat to the Sword Coast. Monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the blade got his name. I swear. I'm not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. Truce, finally. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. All right. Hold on one second. 
One day I'll catch a break. Mm. Now we have to talk to Will. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. What's that supposed to mean? Lay it out plainly, Will. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted. And I'll pay my penance. Penance? Should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. Okay. And let's speak with Carly. I have something to ask. Screw you, Lysel. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Carlac. That's it, you're pretty loud. Fair. <laughs> but still. The man's got a reputation for being lethal with that blade. I'm glad it's on our side. Fair, fair. Okay. Oh, it Gale. Thank goodness that's all dealt with. The odds are stacked high enough against us already. No need to turn on each other. Are oh, you alright, Gale? You look a bit unwell. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Hmm. Can no, it be cured? It cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home. In Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Well, if I find it, I'll let you know. You're on this cause you to consume raw magic? I can say no more hmm. on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since right, we I have seemed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Uh huh. You can try. Well, I'd be happy to help. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Nice. Uh, well, give me something. I'd like to keep that, I'd like to keep that, I'd like to keep that, I'd like to keep that. Uh, the Atelite can trips a little meh. And Poiser's robes, I don't really do anything with poison. Nice right here. Yeah. Give him that from the spider. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it nice. work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. Mm -hmm. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. I mean, I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Hope so. Uh, don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bowed your boundless kindness. 
there. Do some quick looting of me, but we should be good to go. Oh, that's right, there's a new update with the magic mirror so I could update my looks, but I'll do that later, I think. I think for now, we will continue with the long rest. Auto select. We'll be on our way. Scratch. Oh, pet him. Everyone approves. <laughs> good dog. Who's a good dog? We all love Scratch. Okay. Give him me for now. And then. Yep. Yeah, there's more dialogue? Yeah, I just talked to you. hit the spot yeah I can feel it work the, the metaphorical demon I hate to point out but no sincerely though I, I just had this dialogue with you my yeah oh my board might be useful I'll take that my board okay. <clears throat> no more net negative status effects and before I am fully done, I would like to level up our character. And the easiest way to do that at this point... Is to more than likely... Go back to the Blighted Village. Because the well is the best travel point to the caves, so we don't need to go through that weird back alleyway. Uh, it took me a quick enemy, honestly. Oh, wait, hold up, there's an encounter over here? What's happening? Uh, a quick save here. And we'll rescue the gnome. Fly, birdie! Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Dude. Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Uh, I'm not looking for trouble, I just want to ask. <laughs> Funny. That's what our birdie wanted. Release me this instant, you beasts! Let's That's you not helping, join him uh, no there. boy. You best pay the toll. Stop it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not As paying the symbol that. glows, power courses through. And I don't want to use the mark Authority. either because I'm feeling a li little murder hobo -y. I'm not going to haggle. Leave now and I'll let you oh, live. That's how it is, is it? Let's see, that is a lot of goblins. The same amount. Stop! Surrender? I give up! For mercy, please! I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. I was not expecting that. Talk and you might live. If it's worth my while. My, my lot are kept nearby. I can get you inside. No hassle. You can loot it. Do whatever. 
That they sounds great. P -p 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 Pass the, the bridge into the camp. Over to the side before you reach the first guards. I easy. Is there anything else to know? Why, everything of value right. you have. Just don't hurt me. Uh, so that's Carlag. That too. Stereon. And we level up from that. Moving ahead. You're just going. Off you go, little dude. Alright, before we save that gnome, we got to level up. Alright, let's start with Carlag. Oh, I'm getting so many spell slots. I'm pretty happy about this. Let's get on with it. What's there? Careful. Is there an enchant that much needed at Carlac? No Although we're getting a lot more HP. So, we're gonna deal with the gnome on the next episode. So stay tuned for that. I'm happy we finally got to level four. And that we can actually have more actions to do so if you like this content please stay tuned and leave a like and comment and if you have any suggestions uh, please leave comments down below please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you want to see all of my newest content I know me and Bayvar will miss you guys dearly so please come back for the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.